All right, let's bring in Marwan Bashara, uh, Al Jazeera's senior political analyst. So, Marwan, there we saw a bit of the, the history there of this long-term uh, strategy of assassinations against Hamas leaders. Israel's also talking about this time not just picking them off individually, but wiping them all out. I mean, how, how does this fit into to the longer-term narrative? Well, that certainly has been the policy of the past 50-plus years. Uh, in fact, since the... Um, independence of Israel, it has had a policy of assassinations against Palestinian leaders. But certainly accelerated in the 1970s against the PLO leaders, the Fatah leaders, later on the Popular Front leaders, and then the Democratic Front leaders. And then it went on against um, uh, Al-Jihad al-Islami, on, on to Hezbollah, Hamas, and so on and so forth. It's been 50 years of assassination programs run by military intelligence and the Mossad throughout the world, really. Whenever they could get them, they targeted them. But the thing is that after those dozens of assassinations and more, right, notably we think about the three main assassinations, 1995 against Al-Jihad al-Islami founder Fatih al 1995. 2004 against the founder of Hamas, Sheikh Ahmed Yassin. And 2015, it was the assassination of Ahmad Mughania, was considered the military man of Hezbollah, right? Now, in between, as I said, there were dozens of other assassinations or attempted assassinations. But what was the result? I mean, Israel could have vic declared victory at each time it assassinated one of those leaders. But if you look at the scope, in general, of the history of it, Al-Jihad al-Islami became stronger, Hamas became stronger, and Hezbollah became stronger. And all three organizations and other organizations somehow found it in their ranks to find even more potent, more charismatic, more powerful leaders to be leading those organizations. So as the leading Israeli expert, Yossi Milman, on the Mossad assassination program put it only a few weeks ago, he said 50 years of it, there isn't much to show. But this time, though, they say they're not just trying to target people, pick them off. This is part of a systematic attempt to just wipe out Hamas as a military and political entity. I mean, is this a way of them showing that they are starting to do that, having not really got very far in that particular war aim inside Gaza? I, I actually think this is uh, very much so. I think the objective at this point in time, now that the war on children is winding down, the war on hospitals and war is winding down, the war on doctors and engineers and schools and residential buildings after 20 plus thousand of civilian casualties and tens of thousands of other sorts of casualties among the Palestinians. Now, Israel decided, now that it ran out of civilian targets, it's running after Hamas leaders apparently in Lebanon. I've been saying for the past uh, few weeks that the main target of Israel war in Gaza has been the civilians, because they're the ones who really died. The collateral damage has been Hamas leaderships. But yes, as you say, Israel has made it an objective of this war to assassinate all Hamas leaders if it can. And clearly, it's starting here now with, in Lebanon. Now, is this, is this just part of a general abstract opinion, uh, I mean, program, or is, it, or is it a timing now here? The, Lebanese prime minister, minister says that the assassination in Lebanon is meant to project the failure in Gaza onto Lebanon. I'm really sorry, Mar. We have to stop there because we are breaking.